overseer sign make overseer sign. Yeah. Amen, Pastor Lou.
I am has sent unto you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Be blessed the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Here we find that. Praise the Lord that the Lord was speaking unto Moses. Yes. Amen. And telling Moses what he wanted Moses to do. But Moses said, God, how will I know that it is thee, praise the Lord, that have sent me? So God told Moses, said, this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve the God upon this mountain. But what we want to let you know on. You cannot be a supervisor. Tell them that I am that I am. I Say that I can be. I am. When you enter into the hospital and they say you can't and you will not be a registered nurse. Don't you worry about 
you can't speak. I've got someone. I've got Aaron. Aaron would be your spokesman. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We come out. We come out. We come out. Amen. Hallelujah. But those for some, just some, they were moved. They were kidding them. Amen. In the Bible. Hallelujah. And these men, praise the Lord, they wanted to know uh, uh, whether it was God that had called them and sent them to do the work. And praise the Lord, we as a people of God sometimes, we have to, praise the Lord, make sure of our calling and our election. Amen. Amen. And know your calling, hallelujah, that God has called you what he has called you to do. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. That we are going on. Praise the Lord. You see, God is sending his word on today right. to encourage you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. To let you know. Praise the Lord. I am the Lord thy God. Yeah. And I will not cast away my people. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we're going to move on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To that tenth verse. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh? Exodus. Exodus. Isaiah. Get back to Isaiah. Isaiah 10. Amen. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. Amen. Amen. Fear thou not. You see, there are reason why we should not fear God. There are reasons for encouragement. You see, God had encouraged, praise the Lord, hallelujah, with Elijah, praise the Lord, when there was a famine in the land. Amen. He said, I will supply. God will supply your every need. He said, fear thou now, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed. Sometimes, Praise the Lord. When you are being dismayed, we begin to worry, we get upset, and and and, and, and we allow sometimes our feeling of distress and having anxiety when unexpected. the Lord thy God. Amen. He said, I will read the For I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Amen. We know that the promises of God are yea. And in him is amen. I heard the word of God say, The Lord is my strength and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord promised to strengthen you. Isaiah declared, They that wait upon the Lord. Sometimes when we are going through our tests and our trials, it's good to wait on it. When you wait on the Lord, he said, I, hallelujah, am the Lord thy God. He said, but they that wait upon the Lord, they shall mount up with wings as an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. God don't want us to faint. He sent his word to encourage you today to let you know I am with thee. I don't care whatever the doctors has diagnosed you with. Believe God. Just believe God and trust God. Know that God is right there. He is right there. Not saying, amen, that God has not given the doctor. Amen. But you see, God's hand is upon the hands of the doctor. Amen. But he is here. Amen. No matter whatever the test. Amen. The finance look like it ain't want to act right. Amen. Just know that God is faithful. Hallelujah. Just believe God. 
Somebody say, no, 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 no. Pastor, they're not you talking, but I got a bill need to be paid tomorrow. Yes, Lord. But look, what the word say. God say, I am that I am. He said, I am the Lord, your God. Now, this is to the believer. This is to those that are chosen. This is to those that are called by God. Just believe God. It's good just to go on through. Just to go on through. You see, the more you talk about it, you look like you can't come out of that chest, but you're going to come out. But by you talking and mumbling and complaining, it makes it look a little bit hard. But when you give it to God, put it in the Lord's hand, and let the Lord fix it for you. There was a test. Hallelujah, I had to go through. Amen, but it didn't tell nobody. But just two. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. And that thing looked like, what I went through looked like it should have took me out. But it did not. I kept moving. And I kept moving. I didn't stay home out of church. Didn't stop praying. Didn't stop reading. Then stop loving the people of God. Hallelujah. And for I looked up, God had worked a miracle for me. Hallelujah. Be the same God, no different than He is the God yesterday, today, and forevermore. And He does not have a respectable person. What He done for me? He'll do it for you. Yeah. Whatever your situation, yeah. God will do it just for you. Yeah. Because he loved you. Yeah. He said, I didn't set my love upon you because you was more in number. But you were few of them all. Hallelujah. So we bless God. We thank God. Amen. Truly the Lord is good. And he is good all of the time. God. Amen. Say, fear not, I am the God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Hallelujah, glory to God. When you're going through your trials, amen, and your tribulation, don't worry. Amen, God say, I'll never leave you. Amen, nor will I forsake you. I am thy God, and ye are my people. Amen, he declared that I am your divine protector. Amen, I am your divine helper. Amen. Hallelujah. We know that. Praise the Lord. God said I will be a present help in the time of trouble. Right now. Present. Right now. I will be a present help unto you in the time of trouble. David said, I will look to the hills from which cometh my help. For my help cometh from the Lord, which made the heaven and the earth. Amen. Amen. God is your divine protector in the time of family. Praise the Lord. During difficult times of life, God say, I will provide. I am Jehovah Jireh, your provider. Fear not. God will uphold thee. Hallelujah. With his right hand of righteousness. God don't want us to be fearful. Amen. And I can say, there was a time in my life Praise the Lord, and still yet, some things I am afraid of, and I am most certainly afraid of snakes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, yeah. I am afraid of those yeah. snakes. Yeah. Glory to God. We all have some type of fear. Yeah. Amen. People are afraid of elevator. Yeah. Amen. Some of us are afraid to drive. Amen. Uh, Pastor Steinbeck said, not me. <laughs> I caught that. <laughs> Glory to God. But be blessed to God. Amen for his word. So know that God is with you. Remember people, you are 
a people, a chosen people. Amen. And God will not cast you away. Read that 11th verse. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Amen. So you see, God is letting his people know. Praise the Lord. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confined. They shall be as nothing, and they shall and they that strive with thee shall perish. So the Bible let us know in Psalm 37. He said, Fret not yourself because of evil to it. Neither be thy envious for the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down as the grass and wither as the green herb. Don't worry about your enemy. God going to take care of them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So you don't have to worry about your enemy when they come up against you. Just know that God is with you. He's on your side to fight your battle. He's on your side to bring you out. He's on your side to deliver you. God is our deliverer. I said God is our deliverer. Thank you. 